Hi everyone, I'm Christina Blagin. I'm a Salesforce consultant with Milo Massimo. We are a Salesforce CPQ partner. In the previous videos, we discussed how to create quotes and add the company logo and add the draft watermark to quotes. Now I'd like to share with you a few tricks uh, on how to further customize your CPQ quote documents and give them a more professional and organized look. So first of all, on the quote template record, there are several fields that let you choose uh, how page numbers appear on the final CPQ quote document based on your company's styling needs. So uh, on the quote template, uh, find the header footer information section. And uh, let's take a look at a few fields here. So first of all, we have the exclude page numbers. Okay, so we have the possibility to exclude page numbers from all pages, from the first page, from the last page, and from the first and last pages. So for example, if you have a cover page, you can make sure that the page number won't appear on it. So uh, this quote template I'm using already has a cover page. So let's test this functionality. But first of all, let's make sure that the page number is actually on the cover page. Okay, preview document. Okay, and again, preview. Okay, so here is the cover page and we have the page number on it, on the very first page. Now, uh, pay attention to the fact that uh, when previewing, the page is quite small. Now, uh, we can make it bigger. So uh, let's go to setup. Uh, to the installed packages and uh, click configure next to Salesforce uh, CPQ. So right on the documents tab on the very first uh, tab, there is the setting full page preview. So let's click it, save. Okay, uh, let's go back to the quote, refresh the page, and let's see this setting in action. Now, here we have a full page preview, and as I was saying, the page number is uh, here. By the way, uh, notice that I included a hyperlink on the cover page. It says uh, Milo Massimo, and when I click it, the website opens. Okay, here it is. Now, uh, remember this because uh, I want to show you something a little bit later. Okay, now let's go back to our quote template and uh, exclude the page number from the first page. Okay, let's refresh this one, make sure that it loads correctly. Preview. Okay, so uh, there is no page number as expected, but look at the hyperlink. It doesn't say Milo Massimo anymore. We have the full URL here. So this is a known issue regarding this field. When you select an option for the exclude page numbers field, the hyperlinks, uh, if you've got any included in the uh, template content, will appear on documents as a URL rather than rendering as their clickable uh, label. The same thing happens when you attach um, an additional PDF document or if you try to change the color of the text, the hyperlink. So that's why the text here is blue and not uh, black or orange. 
as you'd expect. Now, uh, the workaround uh, would be not to use the exclude page numbers field or not to attach uh, any additional uh, PDF documents. Or the PDF documents uh, could be saved um, to an image format and then uh, included as uh, template content. Okay, now let's uh, go back to our fields. Um, next, you can control the, pa the page number position. Um, it's either footer or header and the default value would be footer. Now, uh, next one is page number alignment. So you can justify uh, the page number either center or left uh, or right. And if you leave this field blank, as you have noticed, uh, it defaults to uh, center. Page number text. Um, this one uh, sets the layout of the page number text. Basically, there are two options here. So either you show just the current page number, in which case you should use um, um, zero in uh, curly brackets, this one, or uh, you could show the page number as compared to the total number of pages like this, page one, for example, of three, or page one of uh, four. Um, let's um, try to see how it functions when we leave only the number. By the way, if you leave it blank, it will default to page one of four or page one of three, whatever you have. Okay, save. Give you document, give you. Okay, so no number on the face, on the first page. And here we have one single number. Okay, uh, now one more thing I wanted to tell you. Note that uh, when we preview or generate a PDF uh, quote document, we can not only select the template, but we can also set the document's page size um, with the paper size menu we have here. So uh, the paper size menu offers uh, four options. The first one is uh, default. So these are the sizes that are specified on the quote template in the page width and page height fields. We also have the letter, standard, legal, and um, A4. The last three options override the default values, which is um, very convenient because one single template can be used for uh, different uh, sizes, depending on the situation. For example, um, suppose you need to generate a quote for a partner based in Europe. In that case, uh, the sales rep will need to set the output size to A4 because most uh, countries in Europe and Asia use uh, the standard known as A4 while the United States use uh, their own standards uh, like uh, letter or uh, legal. Uh, that's all. Thank you for watching.